back everyone you may be having an issue with your samsung phone where for some reason you feel like you have water damage on it the first thing i would recommend doing is actually realizing whether you have a samsung phone that is actually ip certified a lot of samsung phones i think stemming from like the galaxy s5 and phones around that same period have also been ip certified and all you really have to do is if you dropped your phone in water or anything like that the very first thing I'd recommend doing is to find out if your phone is at, you know, IP certified. And then I would pretty much just let it sit there, fully turn it off. So you can see my phone is fully turned off. I don't even think it's charged up. So I'd recommend fully turning off your phone and then just kind of letting it sit there in somewhat of a hot area and just letting the water kind of drip out as you can. You can try shaking your phone around too. I've heard sometimes that works to get some phone out, to get some water out. You can also put it in rice. That's never really worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. But you can also, another crazy thing that sometimes worked, I've seen videos of this, is people get a vacuum or a shop vac and they get that little small portion that's like, you know, the hose kind of thing and they put it in the charging port and they put it in other ports of their phone. So if you have a headphone jack, even if you have a SIM card slot, I'd recommend taking everything out of your phone and putting that shop vac in those ports and extracting as much water as you can from that. You can also, like I mentioned, after doing that, let your phone sit in a hot area and let it also kind of like evaporate that way. <laughs> Typically, like I mentioned, if you have a phone that's IP certified, things like the Galaxy S21, the S10s, all these Samsungs, even like most of the A series now, they're all certified. And if you usually drop it in water, you should be good to go. So those are the main things I would do. I would, you know, turn it off fully. I would, you know, put a shop back to the, you know, ports and clean out the water that way. I'd also take out the SIM card eject tool and, you know, extract as much water that way too. And those are the main things I would do at that point. So if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.